How to beat Shinobi Hunter Eshin of Mishi in Sekiro. These names are so ridiculous, man. Hey guys, welcome to the video and here we are going to show you how to beat the Shinobi Hunter Eshin of Mishin in the Hirata Estate at the end of the Estate Path. So before you fight this guy, there are a couple of things you should get and that is the uh, Mikiri counter. What you get from the Shinobi Arts is already in the first three and it costs two skill points. So definitely acquire that one before you fight this guy because it is to block trust attacks by dodging into them and this guy pretty much spams trust attack at you so it's really handy to beat this guy you will also need the loaded axe not only for the guys with the shield before the mini boss but i'm going to tell you why you need it later uh, to get the loaded axe it's also in the estate it's right here in this building so open it up and inside you will find the shinobi axe of the monkey go to the sculptor and make the loaded axe so after you took down the guys with the shield, you want to grapple up to this area because there are a couple of guys patrolling with the Shinobi Hunter and you want to take them down first. So right at the start, you enter the area, you want to just grapple to these areas because then the Hunter is going to be patrolling in a way that he can't be seeing you when you are over here. So you want to stealth kill this guy and use the Shinobi Axe to just instantly break this guy's posture and just run into the grass. Because the shinobi hunter is just going to look over here that something has happened. And he turns his back at you, do a death blow on him, so you get a free health bar. And then you take out the bowman. And after that, you're going to take out the guy with the torch right over there. And be careful that the shinobi hunter doesn't, doesn't hit you while you're taking out the other guys. So now you've dealt with the other guys. You are 1v1 with this guy and one free health bar as well. So now I'm going to tell a little bit about his moveset. So he mostly just does this trust attack. He also does a trust attack while running at you. He also has a charge trust attack and this has a grab effect with it, but you can still dodge it anyway. He also has a trust attack where he just swings it four times. And he also just hits you two times and follows it up with a trust attack and the horizontal swing. And he also has a parallel sweep attack and dodge it by just jumping over it. And he also has a backstab swing. He mostly does this when you do a counter. So that is it for his moveset. Now let's do it from the beginning. So grapple up to this building and then grapple to the tree on the right. Go in the bushes right here and move towards those two guys. Take down the guy with the axe and have your axe ready for the other guy to instantly break his posture. So do a death blow on him and then run back to the bushes and wait until the shinobi hunter comes do a death blow on him so you get a free health bar ignore him for now and take down the bowman here and after the bowman you want to take down the guy with the torch and now you 1v1 with the shinobi hunter with a free health bar the main tactic here is to use the counter for his trust attacks because you will be spamming these throughout the whole fight. So you basically want to counter them all the time to do massive posture damage to him. Uh, you can be a little bit aggressive after you counter it. But be careful for regular swings. They can still hurt you. But just focus on countering his thrust attacks and you should be able to win. And be careful also for his sweep attack. They may be a little misleading because he spams his thrust attacks all the time. And be sure to get the dodging right when he is doing a thrust attack. He may still hit you if you do it too early. But if you do it like this, he should be down with no problem. But that wraps up this guide for beating the Shinobi Hunter Ashin of Mission. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want more related gaming content, then you can subscribe to the channel for more. But I thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one.